Hey, how you doing? It's been a while since I've done a proper video like this. We we went to we went to Carding Mill Valley on Saturday because neither of us had any students booked in on Saturday, and we were thinking about you know going somewhere special. And the last time that we went to Church Stretton and Carding Mill Valley was I reckon it was at least eight years ago, maybe ten. It was ages ago, and. Uh, I remember that we'd gone up there around Christmas time because you have a little bit of time off and it gave us enough time to go out and have a day trip and uh, just the last time we went we had a fantastic walk but we were coming off the hill at four o'clock or five o'clock even after dark and uh, I don't think we had head torches I always carry one nowadays but I don't think we had head torches then so we were in a bit of a rush that time to get off the hill a um, little bit worrying at one point that we were really just going to get lost up there in the dark which wouldn't have been great so um, been been wanting to go back for ages we had a little bit of time this Saturday um, so this time I followed the directions straight to Carding Mill Valley and we found a cracking car park at the bottom but as I mentioned in the video here it was five pounds to park and uh, we we looked at how much cash we got because of the whole coronavirus thing um we haven't been we haven't been getting cash and uh, pretty much everywhere wants you to pay contactless anyway so we've just allowed the cash to run down to nothing but anyway um we didn't have any cash between us well we had about three pounds when we put it all together and it was five pounds to park so we had to go and find somewhere else to park and then walk up um and uh, the way I remember it was last time we did it it was like you we went up from the car park and we carried on straight up and then eventually went up onto the hill and went around and what was great was there was some information up on the hill about how these were ancient Iron Age tracks or something like that that were like thousands of years old it's fantastic and uh, there's a real strange feeling it's not like going up onto the mountains in Snowdon where you feel like you could be on the moon or Mars but you're kind of on these very high tracks and you've got this fabulous view all around you and it's really cool um, but this time what we did was uh, there's a point where you can go left or you can go straight up and if you go left then you go up to it's a 20 minute walk to light spout waterfall the other thing I noticed looking back at this that it's quite shaky I'm a bit out of practice I, I use my um, gorilla pod and I assume I used the strap but somehow I wasn't able to keep it steady I don't know why I'm a bit out of practice and that's the other thing it's right towards the end of the video I managed to catch that moment when there's a cloud going past and the shadow of the clouds are moving across the the hillside so I hope you enjoy that that's right at the end um, if you enjoy this video please uh, please like and if you're new here, please subscribe and ding the bell. Thanks a lot. Bye. There's not much wind though, so we've come to Carding Mill Valley. So, do you want to stand here with all this stuff? Um, no, I'll come back for it. Oh, okay. Am I still filming? Yeah, hello. Yeah, hi. Wow, some really steep steps going around the top.
we've walked up through Carding Mill Valley and come up to this waterfall. I'll, I'll look up what it's called so I can tell you that later. And uh, we were just walking down and we decided to have a little break. So we've just, the waterfall's just behind us really. You could probably see the, I'll just turn the camera around so you can see the crowds. That's not really a crowd. And uh, we just sat down and had a, we took one Mars bar each. And uh, oh, I'm also going to test this. It's supposed to be a thing in light works where you can get rid of wind noise. So we'll see how that goes. So there's plenty of that. Oh, you can see the clouds moving over the ground down there. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Oh wow. We were just trying to work out how Mars bars are made and I've never noticed. Have a look next time. Now. There's a pattern on the bottom. <laughs> so yeah. It's great. I, I really recommend this. But I've got to say it's five pounds to park. And we basically ran out of cash weeks ago and we're just not using cash, haven't been to the cash point you know everywhere wants you to pay contactless so we've turned up here and uh, we couldn't afford to park at the bottom of the uh, the bottom of the valley look at that, look at the light 